and you see this fine. Hello everyone, and you see you want to pick a spine. convincing. How's everyone doing? Is everyone doing good? Yeah. Yes. Thank you so much. My name is Rachel and I'd like to welcome you all to the magic of Disney animation. Tonight I'm going to give you a little behind the scenes look at how we actually create some of our magic. And then after our show you can go across to our interactive gallery where you can play some games like where you can put your voice into a Disney song and find out what Disney character you are. And you can also take a drawing class taught by a real Disney artist and then take it home with you when you're done. Now, a lot of people seem to have a favorite animated character, and how could they not? There are over 1,000 of them to choose from. But that also makes it really hard to have this one to be your favorite. But with that said, we're going to focus on my favorite, this little lizard. Dragon, dragon, not lizard. I don't do that tongue thing. Characters go through a lot of changes before we meet them, like this guy. In the original story of Mulan, Mushu, well, he wasn't Mushu. In fact, he wasn't even a dragon. Hold it! Hold it! What do you mean I wasn't a dragon? Can you believe this? See, I'm a 100% grade A dragon. See, what the... Well, Mushu, when they were coming up with a sidekick for Mulan, you were nothing like you are now. What is... Excuse me, who are you? I'm Rachel. And who are they? You're the guests. And what happened to China? Well, Mushu, I'm just delighted to tell you that out of what? all of the animated characters, I have chosen you to you tell... You saying I may already be a winner? No, I'm saying I've chosen you to tell everyone where animated characters come from. I know where I came from. That's easy. Okay. See, when a mama dragon and a papa dragon... No, no, Mushu, no, that is not what I meant. Maybe I should have chosen Timon. I heard that. You know, Mushu, you are lucky to even be here. Yeah, right. No, really, a lot of characters don't make it to their final film. Like in the movie Pocahontas. Originally, she had three sidekicks. They were a raccoon, a hummingbird, and a turkey. Say what? Well, they said that two is company and three is a crowd. So, they dropped the raccoon. A hummingbird and a turkey? I don't even see that working for a sitcom. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey, don't crowd me, poultry. And you're right. They realized the turkey wasn't working with the storyline, so they brought back Miko. And the turkey, well, he became an entree. Ooh, you eat the sidekicks you don't use? Well, now you folks know where our turkey legs come from. <laughs> Characters evolve all of the time, and Mushu, you are no different than them. Hey. In the original story of Mulan, she actually was supposed to have two different guardians. What? And what? See, now I know y'all crazy, because these guys don't look nothing like me. Well, that's because they hadn't thought of making you a dragon yet, Mushu. Excuse me? I have always been a dragon. Here, let me show you. You see? Me and my cousin, Ellie is the dragon. Me and my baseball team, the Chuichi dragon. We play my game. Lunch is the dragon. Me... Well, nothing. But you think Cher would be seen with either one of those two losers? What you looking at? Well, maybe a visit ah. from an old friend will help you remember where you came from. Hi, Mushu. Remember me? I didn't do it! I didn't do it! Sorry, the volume's a little loud. I remember when you were nothing more than an idea, Mushu. That's when I came in and started doing some sketches for how you might look. And you would be... He's Chris, your earliest designer and head of story development for Mulan. Hey, guys. Hi, Chris. Hi, everybody. Look, I gotta go and save China or something. That would be me, the dragon. You really don't recognize him, Mushu? Yeah, I think I saw his picture at the post. Huh? I guess you really don't remember Mushu, but as we developed the story, we learned that two of you was too much Mushu and too little Mulan. Remember, the story is called Mulan. Yeah, you know, I meant to speak to somebody about that. So we kept sketching, and soon you became a dragon. Now we're getting somewhere. With two heads. Hey, that was Mushu, that was fine. Looking. No, Mushu, he wasn't talking about you. What kind of sad, show freaky looking thing is that? Mushu, your tail's on fire. Ah! Ah! Mushu! I'm barbecuing! Mushu, 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 I'm barbecuing! Mushu,
see him. Who's he? Ah, heads up! I'm in here. Yeah. Right. Those are fine. Go sign him. Thanks. Yeah, thanks for making me what I am today. Confused and lightly toasted. So you're saying that after they got rid of all those other moose shoes, they quickly decided on the mighty and powerful moose shoe that is me. Not exactly. Okay, now you're just being difficult. Well, after they realized that you were going to be a dragon... The next step was figuring out what kind of dragon you might be. I know that voice. Hey, that guy owes me money. No, it's Tom, your supervising animator. Nice. My super what? Hey, Rushu, how have you been? Well, apparently I've been everything except a chicken and a peanut. Well, we like you as a dragon, but there are many different Oops. kinds of dragons. I got an idea. How about a one-headed dragon? Thank you very much. Ow! Well, since there weren't a whole bunch of dragons running around for us to study, we looked at Chinese paintings, tapestries, and carvings, and discovered mm -hmm. that you're made up of a lot of animal parts. Great. I'm a Chinese hot dog. We learned that you should have the body of a snake, what? The horns of an elk, the claws of an eagle, and the face of... Red pit? A camel. A camel? Who was in on that meeting? And if you look at yourself, you'll see you're the traditional S shape found in Chinese art of the time. You think this looks anything like me? What do you know about that? I was inspired by the mightiest dragons of all Chinese folklore. But to come with Milan, you had to be downside. Hey, hey, hey. I prefer travel size. Well, it was great to see you again, Mushu. Hey, give me a call. I'll give you a call. Collect! <laughs> <laughs> you just lucky my pilot light is out. Well, Mushu, there is one more step to developing a memorable Disney character. What's that? Having the animators get the character movements right. And to do that, they have to get out of their seats oh, and act out the scenes. Oh, these people got issues. Well, that's why animators are often called actors with pencils. It's all starting to make sense now, isn't it, Mushu? Wait a minute, I know that voice. Of course you do, it's Pam, the producer of Mulan. Hey, that's, that's great, how y'all doing? doing? Hey, and you're my background hey, artist, doing, and my cleanup artist, my layout right, artist, my and my coffee guy, and my personal trainer. Hey, looking good. <laughs> Ow! Ow! I'm sure you are right. Of course I am, because I'm an animated character. Hey! And that's why we love you. <laughs> oh, you so yeah, I can sock you up with a biscuit. What you looking at? Oh, I guess nothing. So while these two get reacquainted, let's take a look at one of our newest animated characters from Disney. Newer but not better than me, right? Right. Roll it. Hello. I'm bad. You bleed it. That's, that's good. There's no one I'd rather be than me. Hello, I'm Jane Lynch, and I'm part of the uber-talented team that's currently working on Walt Disney Animation Studios' newest movie, Wreck-It Ralph. I'm gonna wreck it! Ralph is the bad guy in a classic 1980s video game called Fix-It Felix Jr. I can fix it! But after 30 years of getting chucked off a building for bad behavior, Ralph wants something more. I don't want to be the bad guy anymore. Ralph begins a game-jumping quest to prove he's really a hero. And his first stop is the modern-day first-person shooter game, Hero's Duty. Get out of this game, buddy! But it's in the candy-coated kart racing game, Sugar Rush, where Ralph meets his match in a nine-year-old wannabe racer named Vanellope. Why are your hands so freakishly big? I don't know. Why are you so freakishly annoying? Ralph is John C. Riley. I'm gonna wreck it! 30 Rocks Jack McBrayer plays Felix. My Cuberties is a little rusty. <laughs> and to you, too. <laughs> Vanellope is brought to life by Sarah Silverman. What's that? I didn't hear you. Your breath is so bad it made my ears dumb. And you might find Sergeant Calhoun's voice vaguely familiar. All right, ladies, the kitten whispers and tickle fights stop now. So get into the game when Wreck-It Ralph hits theaters this November. I get the Oh, man, I loved it. Beautiful. Two claws way up. Only one thing that would make it better. And what's that? Me. You know, I come well, in the end, so day to day, day win the girl. Look, I'm just saying, a little moose makes everything better. Have a match the rest of your night at Disney's Hollywood Studios. Wait up, wait up. I got a lot of ideas here. But moose they gotta go. <laughs> Bye, Mushu. 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 Bye, M